Teresa Freed with Johnson County Government. It's our goal to help stop the spread of COVID-19 in our community. We also want to make sure you have the latest information on our efforts. Here's a look at how the coronavirus is impacting Johnson County, Kansas. As of this morning on Thursday, May 7th, we have 548 positive cases, 7,591 negatives. 45 of the positive cases have resulted in deaths, including one person in their 40s, three in their 60s, eight in their 70s, and 33 in the 80-plus category. Now here's Johnson County Department of Health and Environment epidemiologist Elizabeth Holshu with details on how numbers of COVID-19 cases are trending and why that's important to our well-being. I know that the last few months have been incredibly challenging for people throughout our community and throughout this country. But the hard work of staying at home, staying safe, staying well has worked as we have seen our numbers decline over the last several weeks. This data is all available on our dashboard at jococov.org slash coronavirus. And you can look at the same criteria that the White House has recommended to see whether or not we are prepared to reopen. And as we get into reopening, how well we are doing in maintaining low numbers. The health department is committed to trying and mitigate the spread of coronavirus, but the reality is, is that coronavirus is still in our community and is still spreading. And as we reopen, we expect that spread to continue and to increase. The way that the health department is approaching trying to slow the spread is by boxing in the virus. We're working on testing individuals throughout the community who have symptoms of COVID, as well as having those individuals isolate themselves when they test positive. We are following up with all of their contacts and asking them to stay home for 14 days to ensure they don't spread the disease to other individuals in our community. This is all very important because we know that on average, individuals with coronavirus can infect somewhere between two and three people around them. And so if those two or three people then infect another two or three, this causes exponential growth, which means that our numbers go up at an increasingly high rate, which can then put burden on our healthcare system, which is what we've been trying to prevent all along. So not only does the health department play a critical role in trying to keep the spread of coronavirus low, but you at home play an even more important role. By continuing to do all of the public health measures that we've been asking for the last several months, wearing cloth masks when you go out in public, staying six feet away from individuals and being physically distanced, washing your hands for 20 seconds with soap and water, and when soap and water aren't available using hand sanitizer, is incredibly critical to preventing our community from seeing a rapid increase in cases. Stay strong. Stay safe, stay home. For more information about COVID-19 in Johnson County, visit jococov.org forward slash coronavirus. You can also subscribe to a daily e-newsletter with the latest data and precautions being taken in the county and state.